Hello everyone, CryptoLemon speaking. Today I'm gonna do a quick walk through the DeFi Box platform. Uh, so DeFi Box is a one-stop shop of uh, all the EOS uh, DeFi application. It has been um, supported by Nudex, which is a longer lasting exchange on the EOS platform. So first, when you go on DeFiBox.io, uh, you will land on this page, which is the swap page. It's a simple page where you swap token for one another. So if I have USDT, I want EOS, I can just swap it this way. They will ask me to uh, transfer then the USDT to swap that dot DeFi and that will go through. I don't want to do it, so I will stay this way. You have to be aware it's 0.3 percent per transaction so as on uniswap but if there are multi uh, pass swap as it seems to be the case you go from usdt to usn which is a decentralized um, stable con on uh, eos blockchain to eos so i will have to pay twice the fees so be careful with that so what do we have next we have uh, liquidity liquidity is exactly as uniswap you can just add uh, two tokens uh, for the same uh, dollar value when you create add liquidity and you can earn some rewards. If I were to add this, uh, these two, for example, EOS and USDT, I will earn its estimates. They move all the time. It moves from one hour to the other. But I will make 50% of my investment as fees on a yearly basis, probably will go down in the long run. And I will make 140% of the money I put in as mining rewards. Mining rewards being on DeFi box, the box token. So you can find all of this one clicking on market. You find all the different rate. If you want to take more risk, you can take the EOS plus box, but both value can change. And therefore uh, you might have a higher chance of impairment losses. So me, I like to do I like to do EOS plus uh, stable coins. That way I have a very low chance of having impairment loss and uh, I earn the fees. So that's what I did three days ago. I added to the pool EOS plus, plus USDT, uh, quite a sizable amount of money. And I earn over this last three days, $52 in fees. So when people were swapping uh, uh, EOS for USDT or vice versa, I will get a piece of the 0.3% fees they will pay. Uh, and as you can see, I have no impairment losses even if the market went down quite hard during the past three days. So I'm quite happy with it as when I will decide to take back my liquidity, I could reinvest it in some tokens I had before and the price are lower today than they were a few days ago. So how can you earn uh, box tokens? Or, um, or farm box tokens. You can provide liquidity, as we said. You can do uh, what they call the um, mint coins, new coins. It's like the die. Actually, if you put EOS into this uh, Danko coin or USN uh, token, you can stake a certain amount, put the collateral you want as uh, to not be liquidated, and you can generate some USN. Uh, I will not go further with this because I do not understand one simple thing and I tried to ask uh, some people on the US blockchain why this was not the case but apparently one USDT is worth 1.21 Dancor token which is obviously not supposed to happen but if you were willing to take the risk you could um, add um, EOS to create new uh, USN token and get some uh, box tokens. So you have liquidity swap when you swap for different pairs that they list here, you will get some kind of uh, box tokens as a reward. So basically EOS USDT, EOS key and EOS box at the moment. As per the liquidity I have generated over the past uh, three days 7.5 uh, box tokens, box tokens being currently valued at 5 EOS each. Sold most of it over the time between uh, 8 and uh, 6, let's say, but most around 7. So if we take 7, for example, I have uh, sold uh, 7 box tokens for 7 EOS each, meaning 50 EOS, more or less, 
uh, value that close to three dollars so that's 150 dollars in three days plus the 50 dollars i have currently uh, as a fees earned in the liquidity pool so this is 200 dollars over three days on a capital of uh, 5k which is which is quite okay considering i don't believe this platform is low risk uh, so let's move forward you also have another way to earn and to participate in the governance because this one-stop shop is supposed to work for swap, to add liquidity, to mint stable coins, to uh, pay dividends. So you can stake your box token and get some uh, uh, earning dividends of the platform, which I tried. It takes one day to unstake your box tokens. And, um, and you can also, if you uh, stake them as dividends, you can also vote the uh, DAO's uh, proposals. Uh, for now, there is not none currently, but there were nine in the past uh, few weeks that have been uh, voted already. So none at the moment, but this is quite interesting. Concerning the security, we see a lot of DeFi tokens, especially copycats that have been happening on the Ethereum blockchain lately. <laughs> some exit scams, some completely collapsed, some worked. Like to make a quick buck so but the good thing with uh, this uh, d5 box first is backed by a real company that's been on business for a long time new decks secondly it's been audited by two different uh, auditors like well known on the market peck shield slow mist a few times until recently so this is really a plus if you're not willing to put your capital in a, in a dodgy project there is still risk as there is always risk but i mean this is supposed to uh, to uh, reassure you uh, reassure you and myself a bit. So what do we have with the white paper? We have the 5box foundation, box DAO, the 5 box executive team. So protocol, you have different ways and apps and dApps that will be uh, made available to users. So you have the swap that we went through. You can either provide liquidity, use it as swap. You have the USN stablecoin project that is supposed to be pegged to one USD, but it does not seem to work at the moment. And then you have decentralized lending and synthetic assets that are supposed to be launched in the future. Token release, total supply, 100 million, no pre-mined uh, tokens. So everything is being mined at the moment. So for swaps, there are 20 million box tokens that will be distributed through swaps. So either by providing, so uh, nine out of 12, let's, they say that every second 0.13 let's say box token are released and distributed to uh, 0.09 to the liquidity provider 0.03 to um, the foundation for team incentive risk cover promotion all the thing and 0.01 to nudex for helping out to settle everything so this is for 20 million token then we have us and stable coins they are 10 million box tokens that will be distributed through the minting process of new stable coins. Uh, it's kind of the same split, more or less. It's um, 0 0.045 uh, for providing a G, uh, USN generation mining, then a bit for the foundation, and still 10% for new decks. And we have decentralized lending that will be awarded uh, 10 million box synthetic assets same thing and we have 50 million box that are locked at the moment and will be distributed later depending on uh, liquidity pools they want to incentivize or other projects they're working on so at the moment there will be only uh, 40 uh, 30 actually 30 million tokens that are being minted at the moment as the decentralized lending did not start synthetic assets did not start and the other mining projects have not been announced at the moment so this is it uh, so overall if i uh, want to sum up um, 10 percent of the tokens will go to new decks as part of uh, of the project over the long run and not uh, immediately as in most uh, DeFi project uh, currently advertising so i quite like this project I, it makes a good return if i if i sum up uh, 200 bucks on 5000 over a period of uh, three days so i did uh, almost uh, three to four percent in three days one percent a day which is amazing but i have to say that the the fee revenues and mining rust are going down but by using eos usdt you have a really low chance of having impairments the risk is limited and most of it is just upside if it goes wrong i just go away 
and I will take the EOS USDT and have no important loss. But this can still happen, so be careful, be aware, but I think uh, DeFi Box is definitely a project to look at. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye, guys.